Have you ever wondered how we can hear different types of sounds? No. Well, today we're going to find out. In Brains! Your hand was in my face. So, why do things sound so different? Have a listen to these sounds. <laughs> I know what you're all thinking. How are sounds made? All sounds are caused by vibrations. Let's prove that sound is caused by vibrations once and for all by using a geek a tuny fork and the geek's teeth. There you go, definite vibrations. These vibrations travel through the air as sound waves into our ears, just like these vibrations travelling along these slinky springs. The faster the vibration, the higher the pitch of the sound. <laughs> Look, slow vibrations, low pitch. And Fast vibrations, high pitch. How many times something vibrates every second is called its frequency? Musical instruments use a variety of ways to change the pitch of the note that they produce. It could be changing the length of a string, or by covering up holes to change the length of vibrating air in a pipe. String musical instruments can also vary their pitch by changing the tension in the string itself. This is how we can change the pitch in our vocal cord. So making them tighter can make our voices higher. By making them less tight, we make our voices lower. So, the faster the vibration, the higher the frequency. Listen. <laughs> oh, sound seems to have gone. It's still vibrating though. Hmm. It appears there are some sounds that we can't hear. Let's find out why. Meet Toby, our genetically engineered geek dog. Toby the geek dog, like many other animals such as bats, cats, whales and dolphins can hear much higher frequency sounds than humans can. We call these high frequency sounds ultrasound. Here I have an ultrasonic whistle. If this geek blows it, you won't hear a thing. See? No sound whatsoever. But what about Toby? What can he hear? <laughs> As you can see, there are many sounds around us that humans cannot even hear. Only other animals. So remember, sounds are caused by vibrations. The faster the vibration, the higher the pitch. Not only that, the number of vibrations per second is called the frequency. And frequency is measured in hertz. Now for another question. Why are some sounds so much louder than others? As we know, sounds are caused by vibrations. Now, compare the vibrations of a quiet sound to those of a loud sound. Notice anything? Bigger vibrations makes louder sounds! We say that louder sounds have a bigger amplitude. That's why we use machines called amplifiers! They make sounds louder! <laughs> The louder the sound, the bigger the vibration. It's as simple as that. Scientists can investigate what sound waves look like by using one of these things here. It's called a cathode ray oscilloscope. Here's a normal sound wave displayed on the oscilloscope screen. By adjusting the settings on the signal generator plugged into it, I can change the nature of the sound wave. So, by increasing the size of the vibration, by increasing the volume, I'll make it much, much louder. Increasing volume now. Look what happens. As we increase the loudness of the sound, the waves start to get taller and taller. 
their amplitude is increasing. The vibrations are getting bigger and bigger. And then, by increasing the frequency of the vibrations, I make the pitch go higher. More vibrations per second. Let's see what happens this time. For the low pitch sound waves, the waves are quite far apart. But look what happens as we increase the pitch. They're getting closer and closer together. That's because they have more vibrations per second. And as the pitch comes down again, the waves get further and further apart. Notice their heights and change. Loud sound, big vibrations, big waves. Quiet sounds are small vibrations and small waves. So, get more questions answered by my science geese. Back to me in the studio. Less, less. Already? We are the science geeks. Beat us tests on us for weeks. We are built nice and sturdy. Even though we look quite nerdy, we are clones. Little clones. Clones. We are reusable and incredible. Until the next time. We are the science geeks. He does test on us for weeks. We are built so nice and sturdy. Even though we look quite nerdy, we are clones. Little drones. We are reusable and incredible. Bubbles? Incredible.